the thing is, is if chess.com wants to like, I served my band, I made a mistake. What? Like, why did that only become relevant when I beat their new brand ambassador? Uh, the reality is, is that if you assess my over-the-board chess, there has never been a shred of evidence of ever any over-the-board cheating. You know, the chess.com sort of mo monopoly and mafia, every single organization, including the most corrupt ones like chess.com, have proven that I have an innocent chess.com defamed and lied about the extent of my online cheating. And uh, they continue to sort of, you know, lie and not explain why they banned me. The only reason that I was defamed and attacked was because someone uh, had through a hissy fit and acted on a personal vendetta to ruin my career. And despite the sort of media attacks and the PR moves, um, that has happened. But for me, uh, I have absolutely, in my eyes, this is only about proving to myself that I can overcome the greatest obstacle uh, in the world, which is this sort of evil chess mafia, which is working against me. And I don't mean to say this as a lightly, like, it's, it's just, for me, it's hard to even take these questions, those questions seriously, because I find the sort of chess establishment to be so, so insane. Like, I don't understand how when you're a 19 year old kid, you can be united against by the entire chess establishment be proven innocent time and time again and still have your career attacked and destroyed and blacklisted. It's like, first of all, on a phone call, Danny Wrench told me himself, and I quote, um, I know you never cheated while streaming. And it's a quote. And the thing is, is, you know, I, I know that he said that to me and I don't think I could sleep at night if I said that to someone. And then I went out to report and I just blatantly lied about a 19 year old kid and just destroyed his entire reputation. So. The chess.com report is just insane. First, we can start with the Pro Chess League. They accused me of pro cheating in the Pro Chess League. First of all, every single one of those matches was streamed. That accusation of the Pro Chess League only magically appeared when I beat Magnus. All of these other accusations of cheating in prize money tournaments other than I was 12 years old in 2015 also magically appeared. They have no records of any sort of... They say that I admit to these things when they have no records of the specifics of what I admit to. They even say themselves that since my ban, I never cheated, but then they banned me right after that. They, they have said, according to them, since they banned me, I've never cheated. Why was I cheated the day that they're involved in a merger? Chess.com really just has no sort of moral or ethical grounds to stand on because you can't explain buying a company for $82 million and then banning me, not providing a reason. Like they said that I didn't cheat again. So according to them, but even their deluded lies, there's no logic. And with regards to, to, to Magnus, it's like, this is not even a, there's no debate here, unfortunately. Um, the chess.com board is just lies. And Danny, I don't mean to put you in hot water here, but I saw an interview in the New York Magazine and there was a quote from a player who said that, uh, and oh, I played against Hans and he messaged me admitting, I mean, admitting saying that he didn't cheat. And uh, obviously that was you, because I can tell based on our conversations. And Danya, in, your ar in this article, which is an anonymous source, maybe you want to admit if it was you, you said that you looked at the games that Chess.com accused me of cheating in, and you weren't even sure that I cheated. So it speaks volumes that- I stand by that completely. I... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Hans. Well, it just speaks volumes that, that if you look at these games, it's just so insane of the tournaments that they accused me of cheating in. It's just, it's so- like inexplicable and doesn't make any sense. Like for example, according to them, the Pro Chess League. So if they believe that there was consistent shooting in Pro Chess League, why was it not banned? Like why? It's like, it makes how are you competing in the Pro Chess League? And then like, they say that I that there's shooting, but then why was I removed from the tournament if there was shooting? Like why do these suddenly serious accusations only suddenly just magically appear when they need some reason to destroy my career, magically appear when there's a merger. So in reality, you can't even take this seriously. Like, you know, so, so Vanya, I'd ask you, I understand you work for just.com, but the funniest thing is this match we played, I was streaming this match and mm -hmm. in all these games that they're, it's just for me, I simply don't even look at these people. Uh, they're not even, for me, they're, they have sort of degraded themselves morally by trying to destroy my life so much that I don't even take them seriously. So um, I'm looking forward to playing Paris and this entire thing 
started on a chess game and, and it should end on the chessboard. Because what happened was that after I won the chess game, all of these people tried to literally ruin my chess career. They banned me from chess.com. They were literally removed any opportunity for me to prove myself on the chessboard. So if you don't want to, so, you know, all these things are saying about no one having a chessboard. Why was I banned on chess.com? Why am I not getting invasions of tournaments? And now you're seeing that this is my first opportunity to play against the best players in the world. And what have I done? I've just had an amazing performance. So my motivation, you know, uh, uh, is intrinsic. Um, but it's also to, to show the world that even when a complete and evil monopoly is trying to ruin your career, that if you stick to the truth, you have morals and you fight, then, then victory is inevitable. And while at this moment they have may have painted me in this light of this evil, oh, this, this, that, but history will look back on things a very, very different way because, because it's simply so insane to, to, to fathom any circumstance where considering even this performance today that I am not a legitimate player and one of the best players in the world. And um, I really just hope the chess sort of establishment, including chess.com, including FIDE, including Kikoro and Magnus, stop being babies and uh, let me play, you know, handle things on the chessboard. And I assure you that um, th that's uh, that's going to be the most sort of least cowardly way, cowardly way to handle things instead of just, you know, using lies and manipulation and to, to ruin my career. I think that chess.com is to blame uh, for a lot of the um, uh, false accusations uh, because I've literally just beaten two of the best players in the world with a proctor, with every single thing. So we don't understand how any performance that I could ever have in the rest of my career uh, could not be sort of explainable because other, you know, it's like I'm playing like there's literally one of the best players in the world. Like to beat MVL and to beat Wesley is literally like there are very, very few players in the world who could do it in the fashion that I just did. So I hope that people could understand that uh, I'm one of the best players in the world. And the only reason that these childhood mistakes were brought back was not because they were trying to stop me from cheating. It was because there was a vendetta against me and a coordinated sort of effort to ruin my career. They, you know, there are so many young, talented players who have cheated online. Why aren't their names released? Mm -hmm. You know who they are, Danya. You've been a consultant to chess.com. I'm sure you've seen the list. You've seen the names. How many? I'm not involved in anti cheating, but that's in, in, indisputably no, okay, title listen, players listen, have cheated. Having... Kids and adults, so our title players have cheated. And there's no, but, no question that and, that is and, the case. You know, there, are, there, are, there are young top players who cheat online. There's many grandmasters who cheat online. If chess.com cared so much, or Magnus or Hikaru cared so much about not playing players who had cheated online, then they wouldn't play them over the board because there are numerous players who have been banned online and they play them over the board. So they're masquerading their literal attempted, no, destruction of my career and they're pretending like it's to protect chess and to protect cheating when in reality, this is a sick, sick personal vendetta by absolutely deluded people with no ethics and no morals. Uh, the fame and reputation, but uh, uh, I'm letting the chess speak for itself and uh, I think that Throughout my entire chess career, it will become abundantly clear um, that uh, I deserve an apology. Um, but I'm not a victim, so I don't need an apology. Uh, my, my vengeance will be victory on the chessboard.